Jimmy. Powered 12-inch coax multifunction monitor by Dynacore. Yep, this is the AXM12A, and the idea of this is that it is shaped very much in the same form factor as a wedge, and indeed that's probably its primary purpose, I guess. But it's also got this little top hat in the base, which lets you stand it up and use it as a front of house speaker. And it's got uh, some DSP presets to allow for both of those applications. We put it through its paces, we talked and yelled and played music at it. Um, it is what it is, it's 12 inch coax. Uh, it's not gonna set the world on fire in terms of SPL, but it certainly delivers what I would consider to be enough for your average application. Yeah, look, um, uh, I think also the, the other thing to keep in mind is that Dynacord's down very much Bosch's premium audio line. Uh, you know, they've also got EV as well, and Dynacord's customarily the one I expect to cost more. And, and this this is actually, I was surprised at the price on this. I thought it was, it's quite reasonably priced um, for what it is. And I think there's a, there's a number of applications where this would work. Mm, it's, it's made in Germany. Um, it's less than 15 kilo in weight, which I like. And the electronics module, I was quite taken with the interface. Yeah, well, this is, um, I guess the navigation system is very similar to what they've got on the ETX line mm. um, from EV. Uh, so obviously there's there's a DSP inside. We've got things like delay, which is set in meters. Um, yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, mm. Look, I think what they're doing there is to try and make it easier for people to Figure calculate. It out. You know, yeah, they can it goes up to tape. 100 meters of delay. Yeah, so you've got about probably <coughs> 300 milliseconds there mm. all up. Uh, you've got a couple of different modes. There's three different monitor modes. There's a front of house mode. There's a top and sub mode, which puts a very aggressive roll off. Um, yeah. And there's also the guitar cab mode, which... It sounded like trash, <laughs> but that's guitar. Yeah, look, I, I'm not entirely sure. If you're going to have a guitar cab mode, you want to put a 6.5 jack on there and have a preamp for a guitar. Well, I mean, it's got combo jacks for the, for the first two inputs, and the third input's a stereo, uh, and there's, there's a link through on the first input, so you can use that just to loop through your in first source, or you can take the mix output um, of whatever you've got going on with all three inputs. Um, I like the form factor. I don't like, even though this panel is recessed, I still reckon that I can buff that even in the car. It'd be nice if there's a little like a little cover that they could engineer for that. But look, I think if you're if you if you're you know, treating the gear reasonably careful, it's never going to be an issue. And I think if I was to use these, I'd probably just get slip covers made because yeah, there's true. little feet on on this side. You stand them up, get some slip covers made, or, or you drop them in a tea cozy style case. Yeah, good point. Look, um, what do you think of how it sounds? I quite liked it. Um, like I said, I, I can shout the thing into overload, but I think I can shout most things into overload. Yeah, look, uh, I agree very much with what you said about level-wise, I don't think it's gonna set the world on fire, but for, for the size, and especially the weight, it's it's nice and easy to lift, you know? Mm. And, and, and I think there's some versatility there. And yeah, good combo tool. Yeah.